What up, gang? Matt here, Country Song Teacher. Hope y'all do well. Had a good weekend. Uh, it's been good here in Raleigh, North Carolina. Um, I'm going to go over three guitar tricks I think you ought to learn. Just play around with the guitar a little bit. Have fun in this lesson. Nothing too structured. Uh, first, let's talk about the D chord. A regular D chord is the third string, the bottom string, and then the second string of the third fret. One of the things I think you ought to learn to do is move your fingers around while you're playing that D chord. pretty cool it sounds like a lot of different notes even though you're playing one chord you're just kind of taking fingers on and off so again i've said this in other videos learning to kind of stay on a chord but move around within that chord really really helped my guitar play and hopefully it can you guys too so one of the first things i want you to do again regular d chord is work on going into that d by hammering on that third string so i'm kind of hammer on ups and then that mute hammer on again so it's a great exercise and like I said you can apply these techniques with other chords too but we're just going to talk, talk about the D chord right now the second thing work on hammer on that bottom string of the second fret and same, it's kind of the same pattern And then the last thing, add that pinky finger in on that third fret bottom string. exercise just to mess around with I want to challenge you to kind of use that D chord hammer on hammer on and then start on and off kind of see if they can help you play and the next thing I you see me do a lot of videos is add in this little it's kind of like an intro say before you play the C or maybe that G chord what I'm doing I'm hammering on the fifth string second fret so play the string open and then press it, then go to the fourth string. So. Now, I'm not using a guitar pick. Sometimes, to be honest, that makes it a little harder for me. Um, if I'm picking individual strings, I'd rather have a guitar pick. Uh, so I'm just kind of using my thumb. But like I said, you can use guitar pick or whatever. But work on kind of doing that. Maybe for your, you know, most of my songs are C, G, E minor, D. So maybe go. Maybe you won't even add that third string open. So hammer on, hammer on, third string open, and then go into it. So fun little drill to do. Like I said, I recommend adding that kind of to your playing. It'll help your finger picking, your timing, all that. Hammer on, hammer on, open. So if you want to start out just, I mean, hammer on, hammer on, that's fine. Or hammer on, hammer on, open. G. Another little trick I'm going to throw in for bonus. On that C add nine, so lock in the two bottom strings and go fourth and fifth. Sometimes I'll slide it up two frets. And play the bottom five. It's when you, instead of a D chord, every now and then kind of... Let's 
See how I did that? So I did C, G, E minor, D, then C, G, that slid up D. So it's a C of slid up. Sounds a little, little bit different. Guys, I gotta run here. Uh, like I said, those three exercises work on moving on the D chord, work on that little hammer on thing, and that slide slid up D chord for an kind of extra little spunk there. That'll preach. I gotta run to the office, so I thought I'd do a quick little video. Check out my website, countrysongteacher.com. Tomorrow I'm gonna do the new Blake, Kel Blake Shelton and a Gwen Stefani song. Be sure to check that out. Thank you anywhere or whatever. Uh, so, countrysongteacher.com, all one word, countrysongteacher.com. We'll keep rocking and rolling videos. Thank you guys for all the chatting. Online, 2 p.m. every day, new video. We'll keep rocking and rolling. God bless you guys.